once I quit that, now I can run this uh, update. Now, the reason why I'm running the installation is I would like to get the builder for the expansion. So I'm going to come to here, as you can see here. And we're going to load this up. I'm not using any particular machine, but we're going to use the software itself right here. We get to here and reinstall MC software. Click on that. Do you want to reinstall? Yeah, reinstall it. You have older Pro Tools plugins installed in your computer. And above, no longer supports. Got that. Press OK. And we're there. We're good to go. Now we'll see it here. We have the MPC installer. I'll press it Continue. Then we'll press this to continue. I agree. I read everything that second. In that short period of time, I read everything that's on there. I'll go to Continue. And once I'm here, you'll see here you want to select Expansion Builder. All right. Well, unexpected to quit, so we're going to quit. So there you go. This is good. Now, that just showed me the software quit. But once we're in here, and you get to this point here where you have this install everything here, now I already have the audio and this and this and this. I'll stop all that, but I do want to install the expansion builder. To go from this point and we get that typical bing right there and we'll enjoy my npc i'll close this out and i'm good to go so now what i want to do to get my expansion out my expansion builder i want to go into applications on my mac so i'll go applications right here i actually want to go to utilities so i'll press my commands to get to utilities which is cool and i get down to here and we just want to find what we're looking for and we're looking for our MPC expansion builder dot app. That's it right there. I'll click on this and it's open. And now we have our expansion builder. So now what I want to do, I'm going to try and make a pick for my expansion. So I'm going to come to here to Canva and I'm going to open up uh, something that needs to be a square. So here's a square and this is Instagram post, actual size too, but I just want to use a square anyway. So this will work out perfect. So I get this square image, which will appear right here. And once you see that square image, I'm able to build my picture. So I'm trying to find what I'm going to name this picture. But first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my uploads. Now, in this software, you can upload whatever you want to upload, pretty much. So first of all, I want to probably break out this. I want to put expansions in there. And I'm probably going to take this and squish it down some kind of way and put it anywhere within this photo I'm going to put in here. And then what I want to do now is look for something I want to use for my expansion. So we have another guy called Ty. I think I might use this one here. Let's go to here like this. Oh, that might be cool. Uh, that'll be my expansion picture, we'll say, right? But as you can see here, it's easy to do. You just pull the picture in. I get myself an uh, expansion. I got to put a name on here, all right? So I put a name in here too as well. Let's get a name I might like. Let me try a different one in the background because you can always pick something different to use. I like this a lot. This is more happier, actually. I like this a whole lot. And this would be my image, for example, I would use for my expansion pack. And he's Pad Thai. I'll say Mad Thai will be my name here, right? So we'll come up here, um, and I'm going to put that in here. So I'm going to try and find a, uh, a text I can use. Maybe this way is best for me, like that. And I can see it right there. Sample King's text in the clouds. That's pretty cool for me. And I go back to here, and I'm going to just click on here, and I want to see this straight up. I go full screen, and I like it like that. That's cool. And so the Sample King's right here. This is the Mad Tie. It's an MPC expansion pack. And, of course, our logo is here. So now next, what I want to do is fill out the MPC expansion builder info here. First, you have identifier. And I can see this is the format of personal.me.name.me kit name so i'm going to put my own i've got here already set up here i wrote it out already this is good we're going to copy this i'll come in and just paste that in there and then uh, we got our expansion title which is called mad tie and we'll copy this and paste this in here click here it just clears that out and you can put that in like that manufacturer name is Sample Kings. 
and we'll just uh, copy this manufacturer name right here and I'll paste that in Excellent. and so we're gonna go with uh, one zero one so we'll copy that and this is our version of this one zero point one our description will go right here I always leave a description it's always cool to do that um, particularly if you're gonna sell your expansion packs and I'll come here and do this right here that's perfect now all I need to do is to choose the expansion pack Okay, so now I've got everything lined up. I've got a name for the sequence. Make sure you have a name for your sequence. I have a track. Make sure you have a name for your track. And you, of course, you must name the program as well. All right, and I've also saved this Axie as a project inside of my computer already. I just wanna make sure I've got everything ready to go to send it out for an expansion pack. So now what I wanna do I want to go up here to file and I want to save the current program. I'll save this current program and I want to save it inside of MPC. So I want to save it someplace else. Oh, here's my MPC documents, MPC good. Now I want to create a brand new folder. I'm going to call this folder Mad Tie. Cool. Now I'll press do it. And that folder is there. This is it here. And I want to save this program there and save program. Okay, it's done. Now I want to make a file for a preview. So I want to go over to here. And I would like to, let's see here. I want to probably audio region program. export here we go export and then we want to go to audio mix down now here in audio mix down as you can see here we have i can have this little tail end in case of the reverb no tail end i want to make sure this is checked save as project preview right there save as mix down as the project preview i definitely want to do that i can do wave IFF, MP3 if I want to as well. I'll do wave though, in this case. I'll say export. Now in this case, you don't know where it's going. You're like, where's that going to, you know? And so it's going to the correct, to the, uh, it's going to the file, it's going to the folder that I've already chosen when I chose the folder to put Mad Tie in. Okay, so next what I want to do is I'm, I want to go here to, let's see, the document here. Okay, so I've got Mad Tie there and I got my preview set up here. And so my preview is this one right here. Let's open this up actually and let it look better. There we go. And here's Music Wave, right? Here's the preview. Now this is the file that will play when you select or just click on the program. In order for it to play, I gotta make a brand new folder. So I gotta come in here and make a brand new folder, new folder, and I gotta put brackets in here. Brackets, there you go, brackets. I go to here and it's gotta say previews. Previews, okay, and I just, Make this as brackets and that's previews right there. So now I've got my setup here. I went to here and of course I picked out my mad tie right there. You can see, press open, right? And now I'm gonna call press do it and save as mad tie. And I wanna save this uh, pretty much on my desktop just so I can know where this thing is at. And I'll press save. Now next, I'm gonna grab my XPN right here. I'm gonna grab it and put it on my desktop like that right there. And it says here, import. So I wanna import that in for sure. I'll press import. And now it's in progress. It imports it. And that's it. So what I wanna do next, I wanna probably look at the 
expansion folder so I can see my expansion, which means I can press X on my computer. So now I'm gonna look for the Mad Thai expansion. Should be here at the bottom, and there it is. Okay, so we'll click on here. It should expand and out, get bigger, like that. And now you can see it. We have the program here, we have the samples, and we have the sequence. Right there. Perfect. So I'll go to here, and now it automatically will play that preview of the program. Turn it off, and that way it cuts it off. I go to here, I can hit the samples. Everything's right there. Now, we're gonna go here to the sequence, and we're gonna double click the sequence here, and it should load. Okay, it's loaded. Let's go back to the top. And then we're going to press play. Perfect. And that's how you can make an expansion pack. And to make short previews, you want to make sure you want to hear about that file. That'll be right here. When I hit this, it plays back because we added the preview to the expansion builder.